Here we go, back again with another match day vlog. Yes, it's Sunderland versus Tranmere Rovers down at Wembley for the final of the Papa John's Trophy. And can we finally break the hoodoo, the Wembley hoodoo? The last time we won at Wembley was back in 1973 when my dad and my granda went and saw Sunderland beat the great team Leeds United. Yes, I'm out for me run today, Sunday the 14th of March, and Sunderland are taking on Tranmere. And let's hope we can get a victory today. I'm going for a 3-1 victory. And hopefully we'll break that Wembley hoodoo. Oh, it looks a bit of subsidence. There's no way down this way. But I've managed to squeeze past the steps, getting down to the beach. And today, my granddad would have been 100 years old, born on March the 14th, 1921. He served in the RAF in World War II. And there we have an old bunker I think it is from World War II. Yes, an old bunker from World War II down here on Easton Beach. I'm just guessing that it was what it is. I've been told stories in the past by my granddad. Used to come down here, you know, getting crabs to boil for our supper, our tea. And I'm, I'm quite convinced this is what we used to have lookouts on the beach. There we go. Let's have a look inside. Oh, that's it. Yes, it's definitely, let's see what the soldiers used to say back in World War II, watching out for the Germans coming across, just in case they wanted to try to invade England. Whoop, it went. And there's, it could do with a good clean out now, yeah, definitely. But this is a bit of historical value. Look across there. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful views. Right, let's get out of this place. So you can find all these dotted around the northeast coast. But yes, my granda would have been a hundred years old today. Let's hope, you know, the last time Sunderland beat a team at Wembley it was back in 1973. We beat the famous lead side. We were in Division 2, they were in Division 1. Brilliant double save from Montgomery and yes, fantastic. FA Cup and winning team. And my granddad and my dad went down there. I think we've had eight visits over the years at Wembley. I know it was seven finals we've lost, I think it is. You know, whether it's uh, the playoff finals or other finals. But hopefully, hopefully, my granddad's looking down, which I'm sure he will be, because he was an absolutely amazing bloke. He'll be watching the match today, and I hope we can win, not just for every single Sunderland fan in the world, for all the fallen Sunderland fans throughout the decades. I'm sure my granddad be watching, like I said before, he was an amazing bloke. I used to come down the beach, took me to me one of my first matches along with my dad, back in 1976, where we played Oldham, the old wooden rattle and wooden stool he used to carry around just for me, so I could watch the match, because back at the local park, before they had, had the ground reduced, it was absolutely humongous down at Roker Rock, Park. But my granddad, God rest his soul, is looking down and bringing us luck today. Since the pit's closed down, it's an absolute haven for wildlife. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. What a wonderful place to come down and visit. I'm going to head off along and see if I can get round the corner. If not, then we'll go back up. Yeah, so I was going to walk. I was going to walk all the way along to there, but I've decided not to, just in case the tide comes in and cuts me off there. But I used to come down here for many a walk, many years ago with my granddad, when he was in his prime, after he'd watched Sunderland beat Leeds United 1-0 at Wembley. Let's hope now we can break the hoodoo today and get another victory. I know it's against Tranmere. Tranmere will be up for the match today. Tranmere are absolutely in fantastic form and I wish them all the best for the rest of the season. But hopefully we will be lifting the trophy today. Max Power, Lee Johnson, and all the team today will be lifting that trophy and breaking the Wembley hoodoo. Just not for every single Sunderland fan in the entire world, but for me grand out today because it's his birthday. I wish him all the best. Where he's looking down from heaven. God bless the soul. Love you to bits. Right, I'm heading back off up now to go for a run along the beach banks. And like I said before, there's the World War II old. I don't know what, what exactly the words are, but just totally a lose. Ooh. 
Message in a bottle. Ho ho dun 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 dun. Message in a bottle. Let's see what's inside this bottle. What kind of message could it be? I'll send an SOS to the team. I'll send an SOS to the team. I hope that someone breaks our. I hope that someone breaks our. I hope that Johnson breaks our hoodoo down at Wembley. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what message is in this bottle right here. And this is the bit of paper I've actually found inside the bottle. Let's see what it says. God, it's old writing. What I dare to do is Sunderland have beaten the mighty Leeds United to lift the FA Cup. I will enjoy the moment as we will never win at Wembley again until 2021. If you find this letter, enjoy your day like I enjoyed mine. Sunderland fan. Look at that. The writing looks really ancient. The bit of paper looks really old. So that, that must be an omen. That must be some kind of omen. Me finding this on the same day as Sunderland are playing at Wembley. And it's signed 2021 a Sunderland fan. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> right. I've done a few miles now. I'm getting off the beach. I'm running around the beach banks. And we're heading out back towards the fields at East and Colby. Coming out now to Cleveland. I'm having a bit of a break, a bit of a rest. What? What? It doesn't make any sense. How on earth is that possible? Pension monument? How have I get the pension monument from East and Colby Beach? It's a magical day, it must be magic. It's gotta be a kind of magic, it's magic. It's gonna be a magical day today. I've got a feeling in my bones. That's not even possible. Such a feeling's coming over me. There's a wonder in almost everything I see. Not a cloud in the sky, got that sun in my eyes. And I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Everything I want the world to be is now coming true, especially for me. And the reason is clear, it's because you are here, you're the nearest thing to heaven I can see. I've been on top of the world, looking down on creation, and the only explanation that I find, that the love that I've found ever since you've been around, your love put me at the top of the world. Yes, I've been up top of Pension Monument, and it feels like you're on top of the world. Look how old this car is. This is a very old car. What year is it? It's last tax date. 1997. And can you remember in 1997 what division was Sunderland in and how many times had Sunderland lost since 1973 back in 1997? So yes, leave your comments below to the answers to the questions I've just give you and hopefully Sunderland can turn back time to way before 1997 to 1973 and finally break this Wembley hoodoo. Here's a few score predictions for today's match. I'm going for a score prediction of Sunderland 2, Tramway and Neil, Lyndon Gooch and Charlie White. How are you the lads? Oh no, I've been calling the hat. You can tell it's Mother's Day, can you? Yeah, tell us what is dear. You don't mind them, do you? Eh? I don't think you do, do you? Anyway, Terry, I'm going for a uh, Sunland to win 2-1. Sunland 2, try me a 1. Come on! Come on, lads. No, yeah. Back to the ground. Chami you on the ball. Left hand. Their left hand side. Chami have the ball. Number 18, McDonald. Old McDonald had a farm. What did he do? McDonald had a farm. Right. Gives the ball. Chami have the ball. Who who intercepts? Gooch is harassing the player halfway line. Puts him under pressure. Number seven, left hand side. He comes forward. Got Ledbetter. Who's that? 
at Scowen intercepts. Let Bitter gets the ball to Scowen. Scowen to Maguire. The King Maguire gives the ball to McFadzane. McFadzane, what can he do? He gives it to McGeady. McGeady runs over the halfway line. What a ball for McGeady. Spin over the defence. Kinch. One touch. Goal! Get in. Lyndon Gooch scores. Absolutely magnificent. Get in. 1 0 Sunderland. What a pass. From here to McGeady, absolutely brilliant. Spread open the defence like Moses. And there's Gooch. Not one touch. He just runs straight onto the ball. Chips it past the keeper. 1-0 Sunderland in the final of the Papa John's Trophy. 57 minutes gone. 1-0. Boom, 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 shake the room. Boom, 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 shake the room. Boom, 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 shake the room. Tick, 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 tick. Boom. Get in, Lyndon Gooch. Mwah! Absolutely beautiful. Mamma mia, bella bella. Papa John's trophy. Hopefully coming to Sunderland. That's how it's done. Finished Sunderland 1, Tranmere Mill. Get in, and we've won the Papa John's trophy. Finally, we broke the hoodoo. I told you we break the hoodoo. We do for me, Granda. Me Granda, 100 years. <laughs> <coughs> Hundred years old today, absolutely amazing. A toast to all the all them fallen Sunderland fans over the years. A toast to all the Sunderland fans. A toast to Mother's Day, and a toast to my granddad Wall. A hundred year old today, if he was still alive, I'm sure he's looking down now. Absolutely amazing. We broke the hoodoo. We finally broke the hoodoo. We've won at Wembley after eight times of trying, seven finals, and we've done it the day, March the 14th, 2021. My granddad was born March the 14th, 1921. He was he fought in the RAF for England to beat the Germans. And he went down the pit as well. And he was an absolutely marvellous, magnificent Sunderland fan. And I love you the bits. God rest your soul. First half, Tranmere were by far the best side. Sunderland's team today, Burgeon goal. Flanagan all nine. Flanagan came in for a, a for, for a, um, what do you call him? Dion Sanderson, who was cup tied. McFadden and Power. Scowen, Ledbetter came in. Ledbetter. Ledbetter, when we got us to the final against Ligon, Ledbetter said he wanted he wanted to make up for the disappointment of the previous two finals in the previous season under Jack Ross. He wanted to make up for it and he got back to day. He got back to day fully fit. I don't know how. I don't know how he got back to day fully fit. I really don't know how. But he did it. Absolutely brilliant. Grand led bit there. I know his dad's ashes are scattered over on the Sunderland's pitch. And, you know, much respect. He is Sunderland now going up. Sunderland going up for the winning medals. Sunderland going up for the winning medals. All the lads going up. All the young lads. All the, all the lads. Absolutely amazing. Look at all that bubbly there. They're going for the bubbly. Getting bottles of champagne. There's Charlie White grabbing a bottle. There's Flanagan grabbing a bottle for the missus. Led Bid is not bothered. Ah, Chanmere Keeper gets a bottle. And there's Lee Burns not bothered. And they're all going... All the, all the young lads, Chami Keeper, Summer Keeper. And there's Lee Johnson putting the medal around, around Max Power's neck. Lee Johnson putting the, the medal up around his own neck, walking on towards the pitch. They're going to lift the trophy. Max Power being an absolute brilliant captain of the year. Max Power, what a captain's job. He's going towards the trophy. Max Power, he's going towards the trophy. He gets it. He lets it get it. Max Power lifts the trophy. Yes! Lyndon Gooch takes loads of bubbly in his face of Grand Led Bitter. Toast the Sunderland fans. Toast the Sunderland fans. Look at Maguire. Look at White. Look at all nine. Little go nine there's. Kirill Louis Draper's going. Get in. Yes, with his girlfriend. Look at the size of that. Oh, Little go nine kissing the trophy. Sweet Little go nine. Do, do, do. Good times never seem so good. There's the king. The king giving her this. The king giving her this. Luke or nine giving her this. Mwah. And there's Maguire lifting it above. Lee Johnson's been absolutely magnificent. We've won 
eight out of the last nine games or seven out of the last eight games and there's Gooch the goal scorer he's got hold of the trophy he's going to fill up in the end there's Max Power absolutely magnificent we win the air trophy we break the hoodoo absolutely fantastic a whole amazing team performance there's Benji Kimbioka and they all giving it this come on the lads scowling great team anyway Burge I'll tell you what I'll go through the man of the match, Burge. I'm giving, I'm giving Lee Burge 10 out of 10. Lee Burge was absolutely magnificent today. Made one or two saves, kept something in it. How good was Lee Burge? Absolute 10 out of 10. Faultless. Lee Burge, faultless display of goalkeeping. Brilliant. Flanagan <clears throat> came in. It was rusty. Got injured, went off. Flanagan, I'm going to give him 7 out of 10. He did okay, but wasn't magnificent. Then we have Luke 09. Oh, what have I just said? Sweet Luke 09. Luke 09, lift the trophy. Kissing the trophy. Luke 09, out of 10. I'm giving Luke 09 9. He's my favourite player. He is absolutely a brilliant. He's, he is every single. Here's Luke 09 being on the interview now. Luke 09 being interviewed. Luke 09 is a role model to every single person out there, every single child coming through who wants to be in football as a Sunderland player. Logo 09 is a role model. He's absolutely amazing. Gives 110%. Wears his heart on his sleeve. Logo 09, he has the biggest smile. He is absolutely a beautiful human being. Logo 09, I'm going to open a pint just for you. Yeah, I'm going to toast Logo 09. He's absolutely an amazing human being. He has to, I, I don't know. I can't say a bad word about anything about Logo 09. What a magnificent human being Logo 09 is. So beautiful. Little go nine, nine out of ten. Then we go to Mac Fadzine. Mac Fadzine did better than normal in defence. I'm going to give Mac Mac Fadzine a seven out of ten. I may give him a seven and a half. Took cut to the face, and he did well. So Mac Fadzine seven and a half out of ten. Get in, <laughs> get in, Mac Fadzine seven and a half out of ten. Then we'll move on to Max Power, the captain, Max Power, Maximus. Power, Lucas 09, Maximus Power, Max Power. I'm going to give Max Power 9. I thought Max Power has come on good the last few games. He's come on really well. Max Power, stalwart, doing well. He's improved leaps and bounds under Lee Johnson. Max Power, 9 out of 10. Lead them from the front. Absolutely amazing. Ledbetter. <clears throat> For Ledbetter to come back from that, you know, collarbone injury, what can I say? It's, it's, it's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle for Ledbetter to come back. Who can imagine <clears throat> breaking your collarbone, dislocating your collarbone, and coming back with an injury just in time for the final? He wasn't brilliant today. But what I want to say, going forward, but going backwards, Lee Catamore. Why am I saying Lee Catamore? Grant Ledbetter. I, I love Lee Catamore. Grant Ledbetter today. Defensive duties were brilliant. Defensive duties were 110%. I saw him put his body on the line, Lee, Lee Callum. What is it with Lee Callum all? I just want to see Wembley, Wembley. We're doing this for Lee Callum all, Wembley. But that penalty missed Lee Callum all. And all we're doing this to break the hoodoo just for you and Grant Ledbetter. Right, Grant Ledbetter. <clears throat> Ledbetter. Put his body on the line. He put his body on the line. Left, right and centre in defence. He dived in in defence. He had no right to win defensive, you know, defensive challenges. And he did. 110%. So I'm going to give Grant a bit of 8 out of 10. We'll go back to Luke 09. Luke 09 is our best defender, mine. I'm not, I'm not just saying this, mine. Luke 09 is our best defender. Luke 09... He jumps. He's only a small player. I don't know what size Luke 09 is, but he's small. He jumps up in the air and he wins every header. And for a player who's a midfielder, he's earned his trade now as centre-back. He has been absolutely brilliant. I'm giving Lee Birds 10 out of 10. I'm giving Luke 09 a 9 and a half out of 10. I'm giving, like I said, Grant Ledbetter an 8 out of 10. Then we'll go to Maguire. Maguire was okay. He did well. He, he broke in, tried one or two things. So we'll give Maguire a good old-fashioned 7.5 out of 10. 
He's a bit rusty. Ledbetter's a bit rusty. I'd give Ledbetter seven and a half, but Ledbetter put his body on the line in defence and saved us time and time again. Ledbetter, brilliant. Then we'll go to Gooch. Gooch, what can I say about Gooch? Gooch, uh, look at, look at, look at Gooch. I was wanting Gooch to come off. I was wanting <clears throat> Scowen or Ledbetter to come off. But Gooch today, he did a bit of miracle, right? Just watch, just watch this now. Watch what Lyndon Gooch did a couple of seasons ago. Lyndon Gooch today, what a finish. McGeady gets through, he sprays the ball, he breaks open the defence, wide open, like Moses, widening the, the Red Sea. And he feeds in Gooch. Gooch, it could have took a touch, went round the keeper, but no, he just ran onto the ball and smashed it in the top corner. One nil, son, Lyndon Gooch, you are absolute beauty, an absolute beauty. I'm giving, I'm going to give Gooch nine out of ten just for that goal, just for the finish. Even though he wasn't brilliant today, he deserves a nine out of ten just for that finish alone. Magnificent, Scowen wasn't magnificent, wasn't great. He was okay, seven out of ten. I don't hate Scowen. I really don't hate Scowen. I'm pleased this this whole winning side, I'm pleased for them all, you know. And then we have McGeady. McGeady had the assist for the Gooch goal. McGeady wasn't great first half. This whole Sunderland side wasn't great first half. But McGeady did have the assist. He had the, has the ability to break open, to unlock defences. And he unlocked the defence to feed in Gooch to make it one at the Sunderland. And Charlie Wyke, <clears throat> what can I say? One touch, one goal. Inside! That's wrong. One touch, one goal. Hmm, what's that? What's that song called? What's that song called? What's it called? <clears throat> one touch, one goal. I'm forgetting it. How can I forget my own song? Jesus Christ, I've had too much to drink. Wait there a minute, wait there a minute. <clears throat> <laughs> I've got it wrote down. I've got it wrote down. Here we go. Oh, I must be losing the plot. Here we go. One touch, one goal. He's on his own inside your box. That's Charlie. He's a kind of magic. Charlie Wake, absolutely brilliant today. What can I say? Charlie Wake, you know, he had one or two touches. He didn't get his goal. He didn't get his goal. That's unlucky. If I give Charlie a seven and a half to eight out of ten. And what can I say to Lee Johnson? Lee Johnson, first manager, as a Sunderland manager, to bring home the trophy at Wembley. I'm giving Lee Johnson 9 out of 10. You know, look at the smiles being interviewed now. Absolutely brilliant. And the substitutions. Diamond came on, did a great job. Fantastic job. McLaughlin came on, did a brilliant job. Fantastic job, and we have won the Papa John's trophy. It may not be the most glamorous trophy in the world, and I'm sure there's some fans out there laughing at us, celebrating with us. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> we have finally broke the hoodoo at Wembley, and we finally won a trophy. That's all that matters. Kirill Louis Dreyfus at the helm now, driving Sunderland forward. He must be over the moon. Absolutely fantastic. And there you go, 1985, I was there, I lost. We lost a couple of seasons ago, twice. We lost back in the 90s a couple of times. We finally won the day. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Much appreciated. All Sunderland fans out there, all Sunderland fans out there, all the, fun, all the fallen Sunderland fans out there, like my, my granddad. You know, this, is, this has been absolutely magnificent today, you know. Respect to everybody and God rest all the past Sunderland fans out there. Take care. God bless. Good luck. I'm going to celebrate with these lovely, wonderful people on this channel now. So don't forget the vlog's coming up. I'm going to do the vlog while I'm watching this. I'm going to do the vlog. Everybody out there, don't forget on Sunday, SCFC Fan Day TV. It's part of my channel. I do own part of that channel. I do love every single one on that channel. 
Conrad is an absolute, his humour is dry as thick, and he's an absolute marvellous monster of a man. Editing skills, I wish I had his skills. I'm nowhere near as intelligent as Conrad. He's beautiful, marvellous. What about Michael Bowers? Michael Bowers, you know, Michael Bowers is so intelligent to do with football. He is absolutely amazing. Michael Bowers, we've won at Wembley. Get in! We've won at Wembley, Michael! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Get in! And then we have Dino. Dino with Raymondo. Raymond Elgar and Dino Elgar. What absolute beautiful people. I'm going to put a bit of footage where Dino got the pie in the face at the end of this video because I love them both. They are my friends. I'm proud to be their friends. Jacob Kerbride. Down south. Absolutely magnificent. I met Jacob years ago when we were playing Middlesbrough. He was selling the Love Supreme on the Sunderland Bridge. And Jacob Kerbride, he's from down south, but he's Sunderland through and through. And I've got full respect to this lad. He's so intelligent, so clever. He will make it. He could make it in journalism, on Sky Sports. You know, he's an absolutely wonderful man. And then we'll move on to, who else do we have? So we've said Conrad. We've said, hmm. Oh, we got Jack. We've got young Jack, young Jack, cheeky Jack, cheeky Jack. The world is his oyster. Cheeky Jack. The world's his oyster. He's only 18 year old, just turn 18 year old. You know, he's a bit cheeky, you know, cheeky chappy, you know, but he's a good lad. He is a good lad. He's an intelligent lad for his age. And he's really good on, on screen. Again, there's no reason why Jack Dodds couldn't make it on TV. He's, a, he's so intelligent beyond his years for football. And I know, I love the lad. Good lad. And, I, you know, end of the day, full respect to Jack because. He is, for 18 year old, it's like 50 year old. He is, he is, he is beyond his years. So end of the day, well done Jack Dodds. And then we've had Conrad, we've had Michael, we've had Dino, we've had Jacob. Who else has left? Hmm, who could there be? Oh yes, we Philly, we Philly, we good old friend we Philly. Yeah, we Philly, me and him are old corkers. We've been around the block a long time. We Philly, I met we Philly a few years ago, down at the Wee Chief. And we got together and we decided to get SFC Fan TV going. And you know, end of the day, our class we Philly is a top mate. Top mate. Absolutely fantastic. No matter what you think of Wee Philly, he's a beautiful fella. Absolutely amazing bloke. Him and, and his lovely wife Karen. I have full respect for them both. You know, they put loads of hours into SFC Fan TV. And I wish the channel all the best. Good luck, SFC Fan TV. Tomorrow night. What day is it today? Sunday. Will we have a Monday bunch? Are we going to have a Monday bunch? I don't know. But subscribe to my channel. No bad mistake. Subscribe to SFC Fan TV. And I love you and ladies. I've chatted on for ages and ages. I'll stop this, but I'll keep the live stream going. Give me some comments. Give us some comments. Here we go. Thank you, take care. God bless you. God love you. Watch the Gooch go. And also watch Dino's pie in the face. Get in. Ah <laughs> Don, Don Hill said F2 if you want to. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yes! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Raymondo! Raymondo, you are a legend! Yes! Yes! Get in! Oh, yes! Shout! Let it all out! Getting the trophy is what it's all about! Come on! I'm singing for you! Come on! I've got a special drink for you today! It's the pride of London! Lee Johnson and his team, Max Power and his team, Lyndon Gooch, Ada McGeady, Lugo 9, Lee Burge, the pride of London! We're the pride of London today! Get in! We have won the Papa John's Trophy and finally broke the hoodoo. Get in, Raymondo and Dino. What a fantastic pie in the face. But we have London Pride. Yes, get in, London Pride. And we're going to have a good old sing. I'm going to get drunk. I'm off work tomorrow. I don't give a diddly squat. It's time to get drunk. Oh, I could hide beneath the wings of a bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. 
But but it rings and I rise I wipe the sleep out of my eyes We're gonna win the trophy and I'll sing it in yeah. Cheer up Peter Reed. Oh what can it mean to us Sunderland supporter and to be Bringing the trophy finally home from Wembley. Get in, get in, get in. Absolutely buzzing. I don't care if you say it's a Mickey Mouse trophy. I do want to give the last thoughts though to the Tranmere Rover fans. Tranmere Rover fans, you, I love you all. You were the best team today. You really were. You were magnificent. You give it all. You just didn't have the cutting edge of McGeady and Gooch like we do. I want Tranmere to get promoted this season. Absolutely million, brilliant, fantastic support Tranmere. I love you all. Take care, God bless, good night and what a goal from Lyndon Gooch. Get her!